the Unified program was created by Special Olympics, um, and the idea was to get sports teams working um, with Unified Partners, so our students with disabilities working with um, students without disabilities and really um, having you know some inclusion and respect worked um, among them. Through three components of Unified Sports, youth leadership, and then whole school engagement, um, Unified Schools create and promote a very inclusive environment um, where all really means all. Um, there's a place, there's a purpose for every student within the building and that everybody has a meaningful um, part as a community member of this school. Yes, this is fun! I'm going to show you guys something. Yes. All right. This is my friends, and we are doing so much fun. I'm going to see you guys on TV. Bye! Currently, we have 10 schools in Charleston County that have the title and designation of Unified Champion Schools, and they span the elementary, middle, and high school level. We went from kind of starting the program not knowing where it would go and we ended up having wait lists for our students um, without disabilities really wanting to get in on the class. Uh, we see a lot of students from our sports teams wanting to be involved um, and, and, and they're learning to work with our guys. Our guys are learning to work with them and really be working as partners. <laughs> With the support of our administration, next year we're going to be offering a unified music class and a unified art program as well. This really creates a place where there's safety and, and acceptance um, and, and being able to offer, you know, outside of P is going to be really great for our kids to be able to, you know, expand what they're already doing. So for our Gen Ed students, they are understanding and working on skills that promote anti-bullying, acceptance, inclusion. Um, Within that, we also have some specific opportunities, especially for fourth and fifth graders, to participate in a unified club. And that unified club is sports-based, and so students who would like to work more with our athletes are able to sign up and participate in a, a club that meets twice weekly and cultivate um, partnerships centered around specific sports and activities. When you go into the real world there are all types of people that you're going to run into throughout life, throughout work, and, and this really gives them a chance to uh, understand working with them and, and sometimes taking the fear and anxiety that they might um, might have and, and, and learning to work with it with, and, and our students um, and, and they grow through that. When you walk into the unified sports, you really see when uh, are they, they start to cling to their unified partners and, and you'll see them in the hallways and they're giving each other high fives and fist bumps, which it isn't something that we always saw around the halls before. So they, they feel that inclusion. They feel involved in our school. Today we are holding our third annual Unified Special Olympics. So through the state of South Carolina, you can apply for a grant and our school does that each year. So we now hold a Special Olympics. So we have 60 one athlete. Each of them has a unified buddy, so that's one of their general education peers who has been chosen to play with them today. So everyone just gets to have a great day, participate in some different events, and then have a celebration at the end. Well, they're getting an opportunity to interact with their peers and to make connections at other schools and they're getting an opportunity to Orchids show the skills South. that they've been working on all year in PE, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, when I heard we were, ha we were having the Special Olympics at our school, I really wanted to do it because I felt a connection between me and other people and I wanted to help out. Oh, it's wonderful. I had a student say that today was the best day of his life. Here you go. Good job, Yay. Yay. Let's hear it for Max and Kaylin.